So you think you've got IBS? Well, then you're going to want a quick rundown of the symptoms, how to get diagnosed, treatment options, and how to know which type you have. Did you know there were four types? If you've got irritable bowel syndrome, you're probably experiencing abdominal pain, bloating, constipation, diarrhea, or any of these. Sound like you? Well, you should know you're not alone. More than 5 million Canadians have IBS. But how do you get diagnosed? Doctors use something called the Rome Criteria. Here's what they'll ask you. Over the last three months, have you had recurrent abdominal pain for at least one day a week? And is that pain associated with two or more of the following? Having a bowel movement. Changes in the frequency of bowel movements. Changes in the form or appearance of your stool. If you answered yes to these questions, you might have IBS. But which type do you have? Enter the Bristol stool chart. The IBS subgroups are all about the shape and consistency of your stool. There's IBS-C, IBS-D, IBS-M, and IBS-U. That stands for IBS with constipation, IBS with diarrhea, IBS with mixed bowel habits, and the fourth type turns out to be not much of a type at all. I mean, it says it right in its name. IBS untyped. This means your symptoms can't be categorized into any of the other IBS subgroups. <laughs> So you might be asking, what can I do about IBS? Well, before you make a doctor's appointment, you'll want to track your symptoms. This can help your doctor identify what type of IBS you have, what triggers your symptoms, and which treatment options may be most successful. Now, there are several treatment strategies, though no one treatment works for everyone. So it's important for you to work with your healthcare team to find a solution that works best for you. One of the most important things you can do is adjust your diet and lifestyle. Here's some key areas you can focus on. Oh, by the way, this is probably a great time to take a screenshot so you can save it for later. Some people can manage their IBS symptoms with lifestyle changes alone, though your doctor may also recommend non-prescription products or prescription medication to help manage more severe symptoms. Non-prescription products can include probiotics and enteric-coated peppermint oil capsules. It's important to choose a probiotic that is proven to be safe and offers benefits for your specific symptoms so your doctor will help you choose the right one for you. Enteric-coated peppermint oil capsules can also be helpful in relieving IBS symptoms. Now, it's not recommended to ingest peppermint oil on its own, as it's far too concentrated. However, some natural health products, such as enteric-coated peppermint oil capsules, have a special coating to resist breakdown prior to reaching the small intestine. This is the place where we want the peppermint oil to take action. And finally, there's prescription medication options, which can include antispasmodics, antidepressants, antidiarrheals, laxatives, prosecretory and analgesic agents. Your medication will vary depending on what type of IBS you have. So hey, IBS is manageable, and with the right lifestyle changes and treatment plan, you and your doctor can come up with a strategy to relieve both you and that pain in your gut. Oh.